Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about something a little bit different than what I normally talk about. A little while ago, I found myself um, in the market for a tablet. Recently in school, I've been in clinic a lot, and I just thought that having a tablet would be nice to be able to carry around room to room um, while seeing patients. Before I hadn't been like carrying around a laptop or anything, I'd just have my phone on me. I started realizing that there's this kind of stigma with like using a phone in front of someone. Like if I'm in with a patient and I'm like on my phone, um, it kind of looks like I'm texting or messaging or doing something perceived as impolite even when I'm doing something pertinent to like a patient visit. And I think having a tablet to do that on um, just seems inherently like a little bit more professional. I did a lot of research um, comparing and contrasting different models of tablets, looking at like the Surface for example. After hours and hours and hours of research, I finally landed on the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. And this is a device that was released um, I think back in June of this year, so it's relatively new. It was made to replace the 9.7 inch iPad Pro that was released um, I think last year sometime. And it's not actually a bigger device even though the screen is bigger. I believe it's just that they were able to make the bezels a little bit skinnier on this new model. After hemming and hawing for a while, I finally got it. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of it today. And yeah, I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. <laughs> Look at it, it's so beautiful. There's four colors you can get it in. I think there's silver, space gray, rose gold, and gold. You can get it in three different sizes, which is 64, 256, and 512 gigabytes. You can get it Wi-Fi only or Wi-Fi plus cellular data. I ended up getting the 256 gold Wi-Fi only model, which retails for I think $7.99, but I was able to get a school discount on it, which is awesome. It doesn't save like a lot of money, but when you're a student, every dollar counts, right? And I actually also got the Apple Pencil. This retails for $99, and while I don't think it's actually a new device, they have made improvements to the iPad itself that makes this work faster. This is still the 2015 uh, model of the Apple Pencil that was released with the first iteration of the iPad Pro. And just a note, the Apple Pencils only work with iPad Pros. There is currently a 9.7 non-Pro iPad that Apple has um, selling right now. People have asked this online, but that one will not work with the Apple Pencil. But without further ado, let's get this open and start playing around with it. Let's be very careful. There's some like vacuum action going on here. This is really difficult. Okay, here we go. Here it is. It's um, the device is encased in this kind of translucent um, plastic the back with the Apple logo. It says iPad right down here. But let's see what else comes in here first. Instructions. A power block. So. This is actually cool because it's the power block that charges it. It's faster than the one that comes with the iPhones. And the cord is just a lightning cord. And I think that's it actually in terms of stuff that's in this box. I'm actually not going to take this wrapping off right now because I do have a um, case and a screen protector lined up ready to add on. So I will put those on later. Power buttons at the top here. It looks like we have the volume buttons here. Home button as usual. I think there's actually two sets of speakers. Uh, one set down here and one set up here at the top. And we have a camera up here and also a camera in the back. I believe this camera right here is a 12 megapixel, which is actually the same one that's on the iPhone 7. But let's get this switched on. So I'm gonna hold the power button down here. See if it's powered. Yeah, there it goes. Hello. Is it gonna say hello to me? I can wait. I have no choice. Oh, now it's starting to say hello. Connect to my Wi-Fi. What is my Wi-Fi password? Wrong password. Okay, there we go. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Okay. Create a passcode. Oh, and it looks like it wants me to connect to iTunes. So I'm gonna go do that real quick here and I'll be back. Um, so it's been about five, six minutes or so. It took me through a bunch of things like restoring and having to restart it and then log into Apple ID. Currently, it looks like there's just a ton of apps downloading, like all my apps downloading, which is fine. On my phone, I actually group all of my apps and I only have one page of apps. I actually can't, actually can't swipe because I only have one page of apps. Um, and it looks like they, <laughs> on my iPad, here. Now everything is separated, so I have to go through and re-put them into categories. Definitely some feedback uh, for Apple to figure out how to make that automatic. I also put it in the case 
What I like about this one is that it has the wake, sleep and wake, so it conserves battery life. Like another feature of this one is that it spins so that you can um, rest it vertically to view. And it has this little loop here for your Apple Pencil. Speaking of which, let's get this open and try it out a little bit. I feel like the instructions are bigger than the actual pencil. And it does come with a, looks like an extra nib, as well as an adapter, so you can use a traditional lightning cable to charge it. One criticism that people have of this device is that it looks really dumb when you charge it on your iPad. I'm just going to plug it into the lightning port over here. See how dumb that looks? Like you poke someone's eye out with this. It's like a like a handle of like a fan or something. And while it does look dumb doing this, the nice thing is that the Apple Pencil apparently charges really, really quickly. I think they say like a 15 second charge will power this thing for 30 minutes. So you don't have to be looking dumb for long. So it looks like it automatically uh, will pair it with your iPad if you plug it into the lightning port. Just a side note, this cap is magnetic, makes it a little bit harder to lose. Um, obviously don't want to lose it because it protects the uh, charging device. Let's do some thicker marker. What? So cool. This is already really fun, you guys. I'm just in the app, I think I'm in notes right now. Nothing fancy, just something that comes with the app already. I'm not a great artist, but I'm hoping that maybe with time, I can learn how to get better. Look at this shading you can do by just by tipping the pencil a little bit more each time. I really hope that I'm not having so much fun with this. I like, you know, forego doing my homework or anything. All right, enough of that. And let's just tuck our pencil right into this. That's all I have for you today. Because I just got this, I don't have much to say on it yet. I might do an update though in a few months to let you know how it's going, what I'm using it for. So be on the lookout for that. And even if I don't do one, it's either because I'm busy or maybe I just don't have very strong opinions about anything that's going on with this. But I should have more to say on it with more use. Overall, I think this is a beautifully engineered product and obviously a lot of time and work has gone into this. Apple is definitely at the top of their game when it comes to tablets and I think this will be no exception to that. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment to let me know what you think of this video. But other than that, me and my new toy here will see you guys next time.